Hello friends and fans of EVGA and today we've got a special for you. We have a new motherboard. This motherboard is the X299 Micro 2 and as the name indicates this is the follow-up to our X90, X299 Micro board. The Micro 2 board brings in a bunch of improvements over the first Micro and we're going to do an unboxing for you and go over some of those improvements today. <laughs> So let's get started here. I've actually cut some of the plastic off the top to make it a little bit easier to get it off, um, but uh, you should get packaging just like this if you purchase one of these boards. Let's go ahead and get this open here. All right, inside, as ever, we have ourselves one of our quick guides. These are really great. These go over a bunch of the specification, installation, um, multiple languages, recommended ways to put on thermal paste, your cooler, uh, a lot of cool information condensed onto one card here. Um, so it's nice to see that in the packaging. We have a manual of our products. And then most everything in here is going to be in uh, electrostatic safe bags. Um, we'll get some roll of, uh, of this stuff laid out on the table. We'll film that for you so you can see that. Um, but in here we've got ourselves some SATA cables. Uh, got ourselves two antennas. There is built-in Wi-Fi on this motherboard. And when I say built-in Wi-Fi, and I'll show you it when I show you the board, um, the chip itself is built into the motherboard. It's not a separate one that you have to install and connect tiny little nub antennas to. It's already built into the board, just waiting for those larger antennas. That includes both AC Wi-Fi as well as Bluetooth 5.0. Uh, right here, this is a small USB thumb drive that comes with this unit. This is a really cool feature that will be debuting with this motherboard. Uh, basically, with this USB and the BIOS file that's installed to it, you can update the BIOS of this motherboard without a CPU installed. Uh, we'd like to go into a little bit more information in that in a future video, but for now we're just going to show you the board. As you can see with any micro ATX form factor for a X299 motherboard, um, the CPU socket does take up a significant amount of that space. Um, so that just means we have to pack in things a little bit more tightly to get all the technology on this board. Uh, if we look above the um, CPU socket, you can see a redesigned VRM heatsink and cooling apparatus. Um, that's on top of an upgraded VRM as well with uh, higher capabilities than on the previous micro board. Uh, it's also actively cooled with this fan here. Um, you'll see here on the top we've added a second uh, EPS power connector, basically your ATX 12 volt for your CPU. Um, Hardware Canucks recently tested this board and found that they were able to get a higher overclock on this when compared to our older Micro 1 version, so clearly those VRM changes are really helping out there. Um, along with reinforced DIMM slots, we also have reinforced PCIe slots for the two 16X slots. Um, this board, like other of our X299 boards, will feature several of our 4-pin PWM headers. Um, these are nice because they can operate both as DC or PWM, and I believe that is automatically controlled by the board. Uh, as we go down to the bottom here, you do have support for USB 2.0 if you have headers like AIOs need those, um, but we're mostly focused on USB 3.1. Uh, specifically Gen 1 and Gen 2. Uh, we've got a Gen 1 header on here. Uh, we've got uh, six of the Gen 1 ports on the back, and then Gen 2, we have two of those ports as a full-size Type A. Uh, again, I pointed to it earlier, but here is that built-in Wi-Fi card internally housed in this little module. You would just connect the antennas to get the full range and the full performance. Um, overall, uh, like with other boards, we support M.2, and that's full for PCI E lanes for the maximum speed at Gen 3 speeds. So thank you guys for joining us for this unboxing of the X299 Micro 2. This is available immediately, so please check it out. Check out some more information at EVGA.com and, and joining us again for some future unboxing and EVGA videos.